Howdy folks, it's Tony from The Tech Firm. I'm going to show you how we configure VPN on an edge router, a Ubiquiti edge router to be uh, specific. And I'm going to, I'm just going to run through it because it's pretty self, I'm going to say it's pretty straightforward. But you have to make sure you pay attention to the firewall rules. And I'm going to, sh I'm going to explain that in just a few more seconds. I don't want to get tongue tied any more than I am. <laughs> so we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing I did was show interfaces, and I could see over here we got interface number eight. That's what I want to work with. That's my WAN internet port. Okay, so ETH8. That's what I'm working with. So whatever you got, you can substitute in with that. I'm just going to add all the uh, commands in the article, so you can copy and paste it. Uh, it's also on the Ubiquiti uh, forum if you want to go look for it. It's up to you. So from here, I'm going to show firewall name. I want to see all the firewall rules that I have right now. One of the ones I'm going to modify is, is WAN local. And my rules start from 60 and they go to 90. So 60, 70, 80, 90. So do I have that available? I do. Now, if I had a 60 or a 70 in here, then I would adjust my rule numbers accordingly. I want it after these ones and before this one. That's that simple. All right. So from here, we're going to go into configure mode. For the Cisco guys, it's config T, right? The same kind of idea. And I'm just going to paste them in there. As you can see, I'm just adding um, the protocols uh, for VPN or IPsec or whatever you want to relate to this. Great. Now, here's where things uh, can change. So I'm going to just do one command here. This one. Set VPN IPsec interface ETH8. Again, that'll be whatever your internet port is. Now, from there, we're going to talk about uh, a little bit about I don't know, security, passwords, whatever you want to call it. You can see I put in here that I can use a pre-shared uh, secret. I'm also going to use a passphrase. And you can see right here it says set VPN LP2 remote access, authentication pre-shared secret. And that is my secret right there. Pre-shared super duper secret. Now you put whatever you want in there, go to town. From here we set VPN remote access uh, to local because we're doing local authentication. And from there, let me show you the next command. There it is. So this one is uh, the username for the VPN client. Because again, we're doing this locally. We're doing this manually, right? This doesn't scale well if you got hundreds of these things, but it doesn't matter. You can figure that out if you want to use radius or whatever you're going to use. It doesn't matter. So local users, username is admin, and the password is admin super duper secret. Again, your username could be Joe, Tom, Tony, whatever, and the password is going to be whatever. Uh, that's I'm going to say that's pretty straightforward. From there, we're going to define uh, the DHCP settings for the VPN session. So I'm going to start at 100.200, and I'm going to go all the way up to 249. That's my VPN range. I don't anticipate more than two or three people being on this, so 49 is plenty. From there, I put my DNS, right? You can put whatever DNS you want. I just put Google's public DNS. And then the last bit, let me just copy this because I don't want to type all this nonsense out and fat finger it all. Um, you'll see that it says right here, set VPN, remote access, DHCP interface, obviously, Ethernet 8, my WAN port again, right? Um, I was messing around with this earlier, so the, the actual configuration uh, will bark at me if I put the same command in there twice. So that's fine. Don't worry about it. And the rest of this stuff is, again, fairly obvious. So with Ubiquity, when you're done, you type commit. And you wait a bit. Uh, it's going to do a little dance, make sure everything's cool. So, you know, syntax, all that kind of stuff. It comes back. You're good. From there, you can save it. And now um, I've tested this with um, the Android default VPN client, Windows, Apple. It, it works with all of them. It's the most basic of all the configs, and you're good to go. So hope that helps you out. Have a good day. Bye for now.